crossbows are really not that complicated. Once you have them sighted in, there's not a lot to tinker with on the bow. It's not like a vertical bow where you have a rest and a peep sight and a kisser button. You know, a lot of little doodads to adjust. Basically, you can sight the bow in. But what I found after shooting hundreds of arrows, there are some things that can frustrate you. And what I found is if you number your arrows and you shoot them repetitively, you'll start to formulate a group and outside that group, you might have one or two arrows that just fly for whatever reason. It could be a bad knock, it could be a damaged arrow, it could just be a spine alignment in your shaft. And I take those arrows and I put them on the side. So out of a dozen arrows, I might have eight or nine really good arrows. And after that, I take those and I put on a practice broadhead. Because I want to make sure that I shoot the exact style arrow that I'm going to hunt with. In this case, I'm using NAP Spitfire, put the practice head on. I put my lighted knocks on, so I'm shooting the exact same system I'm going to hunt with. And then I go re-sight in, and again, I try to find, do I have any outliers? Do I have any arrows that slip outside the group? So those eight or nine arrows might boil down to six or seven really premier arrows. Now, if I'm only going to shoot 20 or 30 yards, maybe I really don't care. But with these bows like the Fury going 360, 370 feet per second, I know I can shoot out to 60 or 70 yards. So accuracy means a lot when you're shooting at those kind of distances.